Ah, we once again see it! Welcome to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm Apex the New King. We're continuing with the story in today's video. We're just now finishing the Saiyan Saga. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, go ahead and give those a watch and come right back to this one right here. But we ain't gonna waste no time, y'all, because I'm eager to see what we got to do in this game. So let's go ahead, jump in and start with the Namek Saga of Dragon Ball Z. All right, y'all, so it looks like we got some additional stuff to do before I can get to the Namek Saga. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear up this little small stuff and we'll be right back when we make it to the actual start of the main story. All right, y'all, I think I've done everything that was like extra for the moment. So we should be able to talk to Bulma and actually just be on our way. Now, bro, I just took a whole adventure. It, it could be a literal montage of everything that I just did to get to this point right here. But let's talk to Bulma. Let's go ahead, see what she got. Yes, bro, I'm all set. Okay. Let's go. I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. Oh, God. Please tell me that don't mean like an actual thing. Like, I should definitely be able to just do small stuff, like go actually meet with them and then we leave. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, go on? My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Ah, uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. His mom is a helicopter don't parent. You. Don't come back until you found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Mom. Bye, don't know how to tell you this, but the last time you're gonna see Krillin is right here, right now with that fist, bro. Write me every day, Gohan. All right, time for takeoff. Watch out, Planet Namek. Here we come. Yeah, let's go. Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Namek with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Namek in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history. I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine! Man, it's about to be a crazy, crazy part of the story when we start dealing with Frieza, like, at all. And I mean literally in any fashion whatsoever, is going to be very, very different to deal with Frieza. Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination, planet Namek. We did it! We actually made it to planet Namek! Hmm. This place kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me back on Earth. No use waiting around. Let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out. I'm picking something up. No doubt about it. It's a Dragon Ball. You're right. Woo -hoo! All right. <laughs> All right. We found we one. Found we one. found one. Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Oh, my God. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna explain like, this in a split second. It's massive and it feels crazy strong. This is very funny to me. Kind of evil about it too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> 
cu. <risos> <laughs> this too. Oh, this too. This whole entire scene. I gotta explain why this is funny to me. Like, I don't want to press the button to skip it, so I'm, I'm gonna just let it play out real quick, and then I'll explain. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza! Do I get to be Vegeta? That'd be amazing! Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth! We'll stay here and gather the rest of the Dragon Balls. Gohan, sound good to you? Y yeah uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. Woo! Uh, right. Two months. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. We found it, Lord Frieza. Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir. Uh, pardon me, Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I will make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those who have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. I feel like this is the moment in time I should be able to play as Vegeta. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. Right. Make sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Huh? Krillin! Someone's coming! Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No. It's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. Huh? Look. What the hell is that? <laughs> Xenoverse Raccoon. <gasps> Those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians. Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke. They're nothing but trash. I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Sounds good to me. No! That starship! <laughs> Sucks to be them. Guess they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Here goes. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, we rush off into our first battle on Namek. Of course, it's fucking grubs. It's grubs. It's grubs. Yeah, your guard is gonna get broken, mate. I ain't worried about your partner. I ain't gonna lie. All right, if he wants the smoke, I'm gonna give it to him first. Somebody is about to get this work. They jump at me, Krillin. Where the fuck are you? And oh, now you feel like helping, huh? Yeah, because I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. You are the annoying one in my life. Fucking asshole. That's why, because Krillin's a level 13. Rogan been getting his ass beat since the beginning of the game. Hey, nice going, Gohan. Nice going? There's nothing nice about this. Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500? Is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Queen. 1500, bro? <laughs> you hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Queen. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. Before he got his ass beat. <laughs> oh, wait, this is me. Like I get, to, no, it's not. What is that? Well now. Oh, okay, the freezer shit. <laughs> Interesting. All right. I think I was supposed to be pressing so Oh, I am Vegeta. I am Vegeta, bro. Oh, y'all already know I want to live this out. I want to live this out. I really do. I really want to lay this out a little bit, but we got a mission that is directly in front of us. Let's go find Kui. Bow! Yeah! But y'all do not want to smoke. Don't start with me. This is Vegeta, bro. Do not start with me. I'm the wrong one today. Where the hell is he? I followed the thing. Wait, wait, let's let's sense for his key. Hmm. That's interesting. Cause he, he's not here. But he is here at the same time. Alright, y'all, give me a little minute. I'ma find Kui. And then we're gonna beat his ass. <laughs> you must really have a death wish coming at me like this. <laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? How to run away? Mm. Like how to control my power level. Ah! 
in the way! 90, 20, 21, 22,000! <laughs> Bro, we're not gonna talk about it. Vegeta is not that much stronger than Vegeta. Like, I mean, not Vegeta, but he's not that much stronger than Krillin and Gohan. We're not gonna talk about it. And it's showing a reading of more than twenty-two thousand. It's like power levels are bullshit. That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. Impossible! It can't be. Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model. The reading's up to 24,000. <laughs> Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? Easily, bro. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> Die! Oh, I get to fight you with these hands, bro? Hold up. Bink, 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 bink. Loading them boys! Oh my god. Push me to the brink of death. Yeah, why are you flying to it? Nah nah, bring your ass over here, boy. Bring your muck in there over here. That's weak. Stop it. Stop embarrassing yourself. I said stop embarrassing yourself. Stop embarrassing yourself. Why are you still embarrassing yourself? Why are you still embarrassing yourself? Guess what? I gotta finish this in the most Vegeta fashion. Uh oh, come here! Bow, bow, bow! Oh, you died too easily. Bro was like historically outclassed by Vegeta, though. Like this, this was actually accurate. Woo! Woo! Uh oh, the iconic. Boy. Ooh. Oh, that shit look clean. <laughs> Dirty fireworks. <sighs> Vegeta's power level from before. That 24,000 reading, it was real. Oh, I don't believe it. He just took out Queen. I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget, Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defying me. Lord Frieza, the scouter shows there are about ten Namekians in that direction. Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. The fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. No, I got the Vegeta one now. I've been waiting for this. Like, I've truthfully been waiting for this one. I get to throw Vegeta in there and strengthen the community board a little bit more. And we're going to be good. But that's it. We're screwed. There's no way we can ever get back to Earth now. Bulma, let's let's at least get away from this place. We're sitting ducks out here. We should try to find a place to hide. Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something. We'll try to figure something out. I'm, I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. Okay, so we're supposed to be just moving now. I guess we're just moving to a different location. Uh, scavenging. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Go around here. Oh, that's a big boy jump right there. Yeah, I see you. This is our cave. Hey, this hole. Yeah, right there's here. our cave. Looks like it'll do the trick. So, how long do we have to stay in a creepy place like that? Huh? Grillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Bulma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! Huh? 
Bro, she would have been on her own. That's so crazy how they redid that shot, bro. Uh, they, uh, they left. Who were they? Uh, Bulma, do me a favor and check the dragon radar, please. You said four of the dragon balls were in one spot, right? Well then, it's possible that those guys. Uh, yeah. That explains it! They have the four Dragon Balls! Yeah, that's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? Y yeah, their power was incredible! Whoa, Th that small guy? He, he might actually be stronger than Vegeta! Whoa, stronger than Vegeta? No way. Believe me, that's a common thing, though. Oh, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Enter me. It's going to be hella, hella interesting how all this stuff plays out. But Once Master Roshi learned man. the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Nemec in just six days. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some Sensu beans, Goku left for planet Nemec. All right, I'm off. I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. Hey, you guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball! Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going to. Uh, wait a second! Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Yes. Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right. Freezer's horrible henchman. Oh my god. We get to jump in now to the, the Zarbon and Doria era. So, you think there are really some Namekian villages here? Well, if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. All right, all right. So it's two of us flying right now, but I'm going to end it right here because I feel like the next time we jump into this game, it's going to be taking us into the fight with Dodori and Zarbon and things like that. And I'm interested to do that for its own video. So go ahead, leave your likes and comment down below if you guys are excited to see it or if you've been enjoying the game so far. You probably have seen it from other people playing it, but I haven't. And this is amazing to me. So, without further ado, that will be the end of this video. If you guys did like what you've seen, don't forget, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers. Your boy has joined the YouTube program and everything. And we just going to keep going from here. But until next time, take care and peace. the king that's right bow to the king bow to the king that's right bow to the king bow to the king that's right bow to the king bow to the king that's right bow to the king